Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much to many of you who sent email suggestions on what I should name our new baby goats. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, you're going to have to listen to the tip from a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> but we did officially name them. I'm announcing them today. Uh, we named the red baby goat Conan. And we named the black and white one Leno. And why did we do that? Well, because we noticed that Leno kept pushing Conan out of the way and taking his slot. We thought those were perfect names. Of course, we also call Conan Coco for short. So enough of that, though. Let's talk about the tip for the day. I'm going to be sharing with you a tip that's going to be really helpful for those of you that work with MicroStation um, or you work with people that need to have AutoCAD drawing files in MicroStation format, meaning DGN, right? So let's take a look. So here on my screen, I have a join file. Somebody needs it in DGN format that's working with MicroStation. So I'm going to hit the big red A in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, application menu, and I'm going to select export to DGN. So far, so good. Pretty simple, right? I'm going to choose to have AutoCAD give it the same name as my join file. That'll make it easy for me to keep track of it. And as soon as I hit save, I have a pretty big dialog box with lots of options. So let's quickly run through this so you feel secure with the process, okay? The very first thing you'll run into in the upper left-hand corner is AutoCAD what's you, wants to know what you want to have it do with the XRefs that you might have inside of your drawing file. Uh, do you want the XRefs to go to? And do you, in this case, AutoCAD would name the XRefs the same name that they already have as drawing files and give it an extension of DGN. And uh, that's one of the options that you have. You'll also see on here you can choose to have AutoCAD prompt you if, it, if there's already a file that exists with that name. That's because in the past when this when this first came out, AutoCAD wouldn't prompt you. If you had an existing file that was an XREF that it was converted to DGN with the same name that existed already, it would just wipe it out, which probably wasn't what you want. <laughs> so they fixed that. Maybe you'd like AutoCAD to bind all of the XREFs so that you have just one total file and then just one total DGN when you're all done. Or you could just say, look, just forget those XREFs altogether. You also might have some underlays inside of your drawing file because you can also import DGN as underlay files. So you get to tell AutoCAD, what, how do you want those to be exported? Do you want them to go as DGN references or do you want them just to ignore them altogether? Okay. And then you get to pick a seed file. So for those of you who aren't familiar with MicroStation, seed file basically is the same equivalent to a template file inside of AutoCAD. And you'll see that AutoCAD has quite a few different seed files. You'll see some V7 seed files, V8, you'll see 2D, 3D, a variety of different options. Um, for, for my intents and purposes, I'm actually going to use a 3D seed file because even though this looks like a 2D drawing, it actually has some 3D objects in it. And then you get to tell it how you want the units to be translated. Do you want the base unit in AutoCAD, right, that you have, do you want it to be translated to master units, which would be feet or meters, or do you want it to be translated to what MicroStation refers to as subunits, in which case it would be inches or millimeters. That's completely up to you. And then you get to tell AutoCAD how you want the layers and the colors and the line weights and the line types to be mapped. So let's take a look at this. I want to change the mapping. I want to say I need to make a new mapping setup, and you can call this whatever you want. Maybe I'll call it Expo kind of like the name of my drawing file. And I'm going to go over here to layer and you will see that you can tell down here on the left hand side these are the names of the join of the layers inside of your drawing file. And over here this is a list of the names that you could change it to, but right now it just has it's just a duplicate. And if you take a look at this list here you'll see that it's just the same not very many options for the possibilities. So what you probably want to do, you probably want to grab the levels, we'll call them layers for those of you inside of, who are AutoCAD users, but really they're called levels in DGNs. You want to grab another list. So I'm going to grab some levels from a DGN file and I have one called transparency. I'm going to bring that one in and now you'll see that my list is a lot longer. So what you would do for all intents and purposes is you would map them. So maybe it goes with that. Maybe this guy goes with this one. I'm just of course guessing. But you would go ahead and you would go through there and you would map them appropriately. And that's going to take you time. So you're going to want to save this when it's all said and done if you think you're ever going to have this exact same mapping ever again. And you can also do it for line type and for line weight and for color too. 
So this will make it easier when you create the DGN file. It's going to make it so much easier for the people on the other end because you can set the layer names to their standards, right? That's going to make their lives a lot better. All right, let me just cancel out of here because you can see I didn't really do anything useful. And when you think you have everything set up the way that you want it to be, you go ahead and hit an OK. Cross your fingers, shake a few chicken bones. <laughs> And AutoCAD will let you know if it works. In this case, it says translation successful. That's a good sign. So now I have on my hard drive a DGN file. And it was pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I thought I'd walk you through that to make sure that you didn't have any questions. So it was kind of a long tip today. So thank you so much for joining me, and I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks.